So this is my NMS vibe. Um, I've got had it probably about three years, maybe. Um, so yeah, turning on the screen, that's what it looks like. My basal rate at the moment is 1.25 units per hour. Um, I'll show you how to change that and look at that in a minute. That also shows you how much insulin you've got left in the cartridge. I replaced that just this morning. Um, so this is the menu. You can see there's lots of different things here. We'll go up the top, start at the beginning, good place to start. Bolus. So there's a couple of different boluses you can do. Um, there's a normal where you can go anything from 0 0.05 of a unit up, um, depending on if you just want to give yourself a standard level of, of insulin. Um, otherwise, you can do the easy carb, which you enter the amount of carbs you're about to eat. I think you can also set it up to put in the number of exchanges you have as well. Um, this IC is insulin to carb ratio, so how much insulin for how many grams of carbs. So mine is uh, one unit of insulin at the moment covers me for nine grams of carbs. You can also enter a food list um, of your favorite foods so that you don't have to keep entering you know, the carbs for like, I don't know, let's say an ice cream is 15 grams for instance, it's probably in inaccurate. But yeah, um, you can also review your total, add your glucose level in as well, um, which this is in millimoles, so this is how it works for us. So my target is seven um, plus or minus 2.6 millimoles there. Um, this ISF means insulin sensitivity factor so that's how much I think one unit of insulin will affect my glucose it'll bring it down by 4.2 millimoles. Then you go to show result and it will show you how much you need you press the up arrow and if there's anything like it'll work it out here and then you press the up arrow and it'll put it here then you press go. You can also do a combo bolus which really helps if you're giving yourself a lot of insulin or you're not quite sure, like if you're eating something like pizza, which has a really delayed effect, at least with me, with your glucose level, you can make it go for, you know, for I think the shortest time you can make it go is, let's see, 0 0.1 of an hour, which I think is about six minutes or so. So this, basically with the pump, it'll give you a bit of insulin with your basal rate. This is my basal insulin so this is this is per hour between this time period so from midnight to 3 a.m. I'm on 1.2 uh, units of insulin per hour um, so you'll get a, a little blip of insulin every three minutes um, they divide it up so that you get each of this divided amongst an hour I suppose um, main menu suspend regime um, good if you need to suspend it for whatever reason that's what happens when you suspend it and then every three minutes it'll sing for a release towards you to remind you that it's suspended. Just do that and it's resumed. Go down to menu again. History is really handy because if you're like me and you get mum brain and you can't remember if you've bolused for something you've eaten or if you've corrected, you go in there and it has the um, records of what you've done. Go back. Total daily dose is really useful as well because that'll show you your history of what your total daily dose is. So for today, 21.92 20, units so far today. 2.43 yesterday, day before, 33. All depends on what your glucose levels have been doing and what you eat. i also show you a history of your alarms. So I had a low battery this morning, which I replaced. Um, also show you when you last primed it, which is just basically filling the cannula and the... Um, tubing with insulin. I did that this morning again, or sorry, this afternoon, it felt like this morning. Um, also show you when you last suspended it and history of your basal rates as to what you're on and things like that too, which is really, really handy. Um, in terms of your basal rates, you can change them. You can also put a temporary basal on of minus 10% of the total or plus 10% or, you know, whatever you need. You can go all the way down to or up to 100 and you can change the duration up to I think around about 24 hours I discovered the other day you can make it go for. In terms of setup um, you can change the time date, the sound and advanced is really handy because that's where you get your insulin carb ratio, your insulin sensitivity factor and oops, press the wrong button and your blood glucose target which you can change for different times of the day depending on if you want to be a little bit higher overnight or you know whatever depending on your individual needs. And then you can also go to Prime Rewind. This is where you set the pump up. So usually what you do is Rewind will bring this plunger all the way back to the start again. Load Cart 
is once you put the new cartridge in with the insulin, it'll load it up so it meets the, the base of the cart. Prime, again, is filling this uh, tubing up and fill cannula is, if you need to, filling the, the cannula that you put in your body with insulin so that it's all ready to go. And that's pretty much um, as just a quick, well maybe not so quick because it's about over five minutes, a little video of how the Animas 5 works and it's really really good. I like it and mine's in pink. Colour does scratch off a little bit on, on the colours but yeah, doesn't really matter too much. Pretty good. Okay.